Manitoba Liquor Mart presents Great Tastes of Manitoba. Great Tastes is brought to you by greattastesmb.ca. Hello, welcome. Thanks for joining us. This is Great Tastes of Manitoba. My name is Ace Burpee. Great show. Susan Reese, Manitoba Pork, is with us with three delicious, delectable recipes. I can't wait for you to see these. And Sheila Nash, product expert, Manitoba Liquor Marts, is going to be tasked with pairing all these dishes. First up, uh, the three things we're making. It's like a theme, right? Like home style. Right, so we're inviting viewers back into the kitchen to make uh, three home style favorites, but with a bit of a modern day twist okay. using Manitoba pork. We're gonna start with a shepherd's pie, very easy. It's a savory, aromatic ground pork filling that's topped with a nice buttery mashed potato crust. Um, second recipe is our marsala chops with mushrooms and leeks, so earthy portobello mushrooms, some nice uh, delicate leeks, a few splashes of marsala wine and chops, of course. Well done, and, and then last, after all of that, I'm excited about these. Uh, Crowd-pleasing Manitoba pork back ribs. So tender spiced back ribs topped with a tangy homemade barbecue sauce that's kicked up with a shot of Kahlua. Okay, but there's also a rub on these. So Sheila, you have to uh, pair all these dishes um, with some drinks. So any questions before we uh, send you shopping? Sounds a great lineup. Just uh, quick, the spices on the ribs. Uh, the rib rub is kind of a sweet heat, so we've got some uh, different kinds of peppers, some chili powder, um, but also some brown sugar to kind of balance that out. Sounds great. You I'll good? Be back for sure. Thank See you in a bit. All right, so we already have some uh, pork in the pan with it looks like some onions. What are we using mm -hmm. exactly? Okay, so we're starting our recipe off with some lean ground, um, lean ground pork. Um, ground pork is very flavorful and it's as lean as any other ground meat, labeled lean. So about 17% fat content, that's the maximum that any leaned meat can have. Okay. And we've browned that in our skillet here with a little bit of canola oil and um, some onion and some garlic. So as you're browning your ground pork, you want to make sure you're breaking it up all the time so that it's getting evenly cooked. Um, we don't want any pink remaining in our in our ground meat and uh, until the onions and the garlic are a little bit tender. Okay. All right. This That'll probably take need... about 15 minutes. I don't even think we need to drain this, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's sometimes lean. if there's a bit um, of extra cooking liquid in there from the onion, um, feel free to drain that off. Otherwise, yeah, um, just um, just keep browning. Okay. So to that, we're gonna add um, our um, tomato like paste. paste. A couple tablespoons of tomato paste. Shepherd's pie, the same as. Cottage pie? It is actually. There's two different names for it. We've got some uh, parsley, a little bit of fresh thyme. Sure. And then, of course, we're using frozen vegetables. So, this is super convenient. Um, and to you do can that. change the taste of a shepherd's pie simply by like what vegetables you choose right. to throw in there, right? So, I'm going to put these in. I've used a combination of peas and carrots, uh, which is pretty classic. Classic. Um, some uh, corn. And then I added kale, which is kind of a trendy what? vegetable right now. Yes. Yeah. And it just gives it a nice, uh, a different texture and a, just a nice, attractive um, look to it. Even if you don't like kale, you just say you like kale because exactly. it's cool to like it is, kale. It is. And we're going to add some beef broth. What? Low sodium beef broth. Whole can of it. Is this and you're just going to stir that up. And uh, that's basically going to have to simmer for about 10 minutes. Okay. You know what? I, of all time, my mother's favorite, like my favorite dish that my mother makes is a shepherd's pie. We used to get so excited when we were kids. It's British comfort food, right? It's the best. Yes, awesome, awesome. Okay. So that would just simmer, like I said, for about 10 minutes. So we've got a casserole here that we've prepared, um, lightly greased it with some canola oil, and then we've uh, put our filling in there, mm -hmm. and we're gonna top it with some buttery mashed potatoes. Yeah, we are. So all we did with the mashed potatoes is I used two large russet potatoes, peeled them, I've chopped them up and boiled them just until tender, mashed them with some milk and some butter, of course. Yep. And we're gonna put that on top of, uh, of our shepherd's pie to finish it off. So I'm thinking that while I'm doing this, maybe you wanna check out the oven and see if our you other like these cute shepherd's guys. pie is ready. And you know what, this is a good time to deal with the question I am asked most about this show. What's that? Is, do you get to eat all the stuff? <laughs> they like, people ask me that all the time. And the answer is uh, absolutely yes. And 
today I get five <laughs> mini little shepherd's pies, which is completely awesome. So that's just another fun way to serve shepherd's pie. You can do it family style in a casserole dish like I'm doing it here on the stove top. Or you can do individual servings, which is kind of fun and uh, kind of a new trendy thing as well. Um, those were in the oven for about half an hour on 375 Fahrenheit. And wait, oh, just wait, before you do that, we're gonna garnish with a little oh. bit of parsley. I got all make excited. It, make it look pretty, I know. Yeah, that's fun. And oh then, yeah, look at that from above. That's <laughs> sweet. Now you're gonna get to try one. And then, so the key is to drag the segment out as long as possible b before the crew gets in here <laughs> and takes all my shepherd pies away. Because they will. There's like, it's a reason. Great. The moment I say, like, we'll be right back, just people come running out of everywhere. There's a reason I did five individual servings so that you'd actually have to share. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Make well, sure this... you get some of that filling in there. Oh, yeah. I just love this recipe. It's just, it's so, com it's comfort food for me, totally. Mm. Good? Very good. 